Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Nick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I forgot to mention a couple of loyal subscribers. Thank you, Joe, and thank you, Dan. You guys are always watching, commenting on what I'm doing. That's really awesome, and I really do appreciate that. If you guys could right now, if you guys could subscribe if you already haven't, and leave a like below. I'm not sure why, but YouTube is really liking likes in the beginning of videos right now, and it's really trying to help boost the channel. It's part of their algorithm and everything, but I won't always ask you guys that. In the last video, you saw me take the intake manifold off, and I took the lower intake manifold off on the left side. I still have the lower one to take off on the right. Um, as you saw, it's pretty dirty in there, and it does need cleaned up. Well. This is gonna be a long process of me getting to know my car. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is actually lay over this right now and uh, get down and dirty in there and just pick all that stuff out one by one. And uh, there are faster ways of doing it. Um, and honestly, I'm not super comfortable with this entire process. As you heard in, in the last video, uh, you know, this is getting this is really serious about this car. I mean, this is a lot of money. If I mess this up, I mean, this is a very expensive fix. So, anyways, I talked to Mario about it yesterday and uh, he kind of whipped me into shape a little bit, talked some sense into me and uh, kind of said, don't be a So I was sleeping on it, getting up this morning and taking his advice and uh, off we go. I'm gonna try to make myself as comfortable as possible because because it will be hours and hours of pulling this stuff out of the intake manifold. I'm actually going to create something that goes across here that supports on this frame so that I don't have to lay on this and I don't have to lay on all these hoses and wires right here because I don't want to mess anything up. So that being said, let's go outside and do some cutting. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm cutting this out of some particle board that I just had laying around in my shed for years and years and years. You know, I realize there might be some sawdust and everything that come off of this, but uh, we're gonna clean this up real good, make sure there's no more dust particles and everything on it. And you'll see what I have in store for this. It's not just going to be a piece of board that I'm going to lay on, uh, or at least that's the plan for now. As you can saw, there's other things that are popping up that go above the frame of the car. So I'm gonna have to cut out a uh, hole over here and um, some notches over here so that it'll fit into that space perfectly. All right, so this is what the finished product looks like. Uh, I put a piece of fabric down here that I had laying around and then I have this uh, Cadillac blanket that I got for free at the mall that I pulled around the sides and you'll see it all stretched out on the other side when we fit it to the car. Now, let's uh, see if it fits. All right, it looks pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of days here. I can put all my weight on it without uh, fear of smashing any of the hoses, wires, or cables down here. So uh, this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of days, just cleaning all this stuff out piece by piece. It's gonna take a long time, but uh, unfortunately, if you guys wanna watch me clean this, awesome. If not, then uh, whatever, dude. So. I just took one of the spark plugs here on the right side out uh, just to inspect it and actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, um, but I'm probably still going to replace them just as a precaution. So now that I have it out, I'm actually gonna take the bore scope and actually stick it down in there and uh, kind of see what's going on with the cylinder. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to guys, hopefully you guys will be able to see this too. And there we are. You can actually see the valves are open right there. And if we go in there, I'm um, looking around. I'm not sure. I think that might be a little fuel um, right there on the uh, piston. All right, there you have it. I'm going to send these pictures over to Mario and Alish and uh, we'll see what they think.
All right guys, so I just pulled this out of the intake and this goes in the center of the air channel. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but Audi does put these in every single one. You can see all the carbon buildup on there. And uh, yeah, the, the whole intake actually looks like that. So we're gonna go in there, clean it all up, make this thing look like new. I just removed all five of these things from the middle of the intake channels. And you can see they're all, every single one of them is dirty, even the back sides. All of them look like that. So I'm gonna put them in this uh, parts cleaner and uh, let them soak till uh, I'm ready for them. And uh, by then, all this carbon should just be, uh, if it's not dissolved already, it should just wipe off pretty easily. So as you can see, a lot of these intake holes are taped up and you know, I've been going and cleaning up all this carbon off the ends and then taping it over and that's so none of this debris over here would fall in. I'm gonna actually clean all that stuff out so there's no fault. And then I'll take off the cover and see which ones are closed and open and then I'll start going into the hole and cleaning all of that gunk out. Laying on my stomach, being in this confined space with all these chemicals and wiping everything down, uh, starting to get me lightheaded. Uh, I think I'm on my way to head to outer space. I really don't like the feeling, but uh, this is something that has to get done. And I only have a couple of days till I get out of here to go to California for work. And then I'm trying to get the car done before my family comes for Thanksgiving. So it's definitely a push. guys so I've been letting these parts soak overnight over here in this parts cleaner and uh, the carbon is probably good and ready to come off of these so let's take them out right now and see what do they look like oh wow, you can see a lot of this carbon has come off of these let me dip this in the bucket and swish it around and see what happens just by swishing it around a little bit in the solution is making a world of difference it's you can see a lot of that loose stuff had just come off all right, so these cleaned up really easily. All I did was take a rag to them and uh, wipe them off then shot it with a little bit of brake cleaner so I can get inside these holes right here. And uh, there you are, they're clean as heck. So I actually started cleaning two of the cylinders out by hand, just picking it all out, putting a little intake valve cleaner in there. And uh, it works really well, but it's very, very time consuming. It's probably about an hour and a half per cylinder and you know, 10 cylinders, it's a long, long time. So anyways, I was talking to somebody about walnut blasting and they were like, oh, well I have one you can have if you want. So that's probably what I'll do in, because I already have all the attachments for it. So in the meantime, I'll concentrate on cleaning all the other things besides the cylinders. So I just cleaned those and I gotta clean these lower intake valve now too. So you can see in there, it's quite dirty. Um, you can see up in there too, it's quite dirty. So. That's what I'll be doing now is cleaning this stuff up. I'll probably touch up the injectors just a little bit and uh, make sure that these are ready to go back in the car and all clean. Then after this, I'll clean the upper intake manifolds in here and uh, clean all that oil residue out of there and uh, make sure that this is good to go. And uh, that should probably take me a couple of hours to do. And uh, then I have to go to California tomorrow for work and then I'll be back uh, hopefully Tuesday to work on the car again. All right guys, so last night, uh, after I showed you guys how dirty these were, I, uh, I went ahead and cleaned them up. It didn't actually take too long, probably about 25, 30 minutes each side. So you can actually see uh, how well all cleaned up. Uh, the injectors all look pretty good now, and there wasn't that much buildup on them. And then actually inside here, you can see they're all cleaned up now and good. Good to go. So today I actually got to go to California for work and uh, it sucks that I can't be working on the car, but uh, that's just what I signed up for, you know? Uh, you gotta go and make some money sometimes. And uh, this car will just have to wait until I get back. And uh, when I get back, I still gotta clean the rest of the cylinders. I think I got about uh, eight more cylinders to clean up. And uh, hopefully by then we'll get all the parts that we need for the car, get this thing down to Audi Henderson to program it, over to RTM for them to program it, 
then uh, put this thing back together and hopefully do some smoky burnouts. So if you like this video, hit that like button below, smash it if that's something you wanna do, subscribe if you already haven't, and we'll see you in the next video.